Welcome Walnut. I'm Lara, but you can call me Laz, your host for Walnut Wednesday. This is your reminder to be brave, be yourself, and know that you can make the world a better place just by what you decide today. Here, I'm going to share my weekly walnutings with you on a Wednesday. Good morning, Walnut. Happy Walnut Wednesday and happy episode 201. Eee, bing, bing, bing. Cheers with my cough. Take a little sip before we begin. Walnut, I had all types of new, amazing, fresh things that I wanted to do to start off the 200s. Um, I have a new podcast chair. I have made a new setup in Walnut HQ. Um, but life has been happening and I am here in my pyjamas doing my early morning recording because that is the way it is, right? And um, I had all these wonderful big ideas about how I'm going to start afresh. I've got a new graphic. We're going for it. We're doing all the things. Um, but since since we've last spoken, Walnut, I have had, um, Georgie and I have had a long hospital stint. Everything's fine. Um, I have been abroad. I just feel like life has been happening. <laughs> life has been happening and it's, um, I don't know, I'm, I feel so exhausted. Um, and it's not that I haven't enjoyed myself or that I'm overworking. I'm just like having life burnout because it just keeps on going, doesn't it? You don't, um, unless you are the one to stop to give yourself a rest or a break or um, reprieve, you're, you're not going to you're not going to get it right. Like it's that self-leadership aspect of things. So yeah, life has just been going. And so here I am in my pajamas in true Laz fashion, scatterbrain all over the town and then coming to talk to you as I am in my little PJs. So anyway, here I am. Hello. Happy Walnut Wednesday. We are in the 200s. I hope you enjoyed episode 200 Um, because that was a lot of hard work on my part and I'm very, very proud of it. Um. But I thought this week something I wanted to share with you. Um, I thought it would be fitting to start to kick off um with 201 because I was having a conversation um the other day that kind of was talking about, you know, death and not in a morbid sense, but just like if anything happened to me and I died, um, would I be proud of of what I'd left behind or of of the person that I am up to this point um and I thought that was a really interesting thing to say because it's a conversation that I've had with um I believe probably with Kate a couple times um and with my client um about legacy building and how we're always creating and building this legacy for ourselves and I have actually said the sentence, um, you know, if I died today, I will, would feel completely and utterly proud of myself because of Walnut Wednesday, because I have built and created a legacy for myself. I have used my voice in a positive I mean I feel like I'm crying all the time with you Walnut but I have used it in a way that is that is true to me um that I would be happy to leave this um this aside <laughs> this side of the plane um with with what I have created you know if I died there are 200 <laughs> episodes where you can hear my voice and feel inspiration called um or just feel like someone gets you or resonates with you and I know this because I have listened to past episodes uh and got re-inspired by myself off of myself <laughs> which sounds cocky sounds egotistical sounds very if you're a Kiwi up, up myself but it's not it's actually just this huge huge journey that I have been on of loving appreciating and worthying of myself and it has been no easy road hence the 
I feel like I'm always crying <laughs> with you. Um, but yeah, Walnut, so when this person sort of said, you know, I've been thinking about death a lot and um, about how I, I wouldn't be proud of the person that I am today and I wouldn't be leaving behind a stamp of something that, you know, I want to, I want to have so hence why I want to make some changes you know and this person was saying you know about like about health about um behaviors um people that they confide in um and things like that and I I really thank them for sharing that with me and I resonated so deeply Walnut because that is how I felt before I started Walnut Wednesday so that is the time of when I felt so not worthy of anything. Um, I always talk about how I just hated myself. I don't know where it came from or where it started, but it wasn't just one day I woke up, but I just I just noticed and hurt and caught the thought like they were all really nasty thoughts about myself. They were all really mean about myself. And I was behaving in a way that was not me. Um not necessarily embarrassing myself but you know I was the I was the party girl I was the person that you brought to something boring because um you wanted everyone to have a good time and and things like that and while that's not like necessarily a bad thing it's also just I don't know you know what I mean all that it's I, I have so many cr- you know cringy memories where you look back and you go oh but um, since creating Walnut Wednesday and being able to just sit here and be honest with you and talk about how I feel and all of the things, um, I have been able to continue on with it. I don't know how, nearly four years, over 200 episodes, um, find that I really enjoy it. I really love it. I really love myself and I really enjoy myself um, and build, build a legacy, build a something that I am proud of and build something that if I if I died today if anything God forbid happened to to me today that I have this and I can know that you have this part of me as well so I guess we'll call this episode something about legacies and um well actually no we won't but that's the theme right that is the theme Uh, how how are you Walnut, when you reflect on yourself, behaving, feeling um, about yourself, and what does that mean about you? And that's a really good question. Would you be happy with what you have built and what you have created for your life? Are you someone that you would be proud of? Um, Are your actions something to be proud of? I know, you know, we're humans, so it's not like perfect little sunshine every single day we still behave like little little bananas at times but are you the person that that you're proud of today and if not what's a tiny little thing such as you know choosing to confide in a different person not going to the dinner um maybe going to work out or something whatever the thing may be um because it's the baby steps right um at 200 episodes I'm so different and you know even reflecting on on the 200th episode where there's a snip from from Kate Decker um way back um one of the first ever guests I've I've had and um she was talking about celebration and she said you know um it's a celebration is a no you know no brainer it's a it's a given because I love myself it's my self-love and I replied to her um, wow, I, I just, I can't believe you just said that, you know, you, I love myself so boldly. Like I could never say that about myself and I'm so excited about the day that I can. Um, and then here I am, you know, at episode 201 Walnut confidently saying, I love myself. I am worthy of the things and I can say, no, I'm still a recovering people pleaser, but I've come so far. Um, I went on a tangent and I can't remember what my, the point of that sentence was. But what I'm saying, Walnut, is you are 
so amazing and beautiful and worthy of everything. And I just encourage you to um, reflect about this episode today and I hope it bubbles something up your butt. Um, Please feel free to jump into the walnut tree and come and share with me if you have anything, if you feel comfortable enough, but there's a a really divine, beautiful space that I created just for us, just for walnuts alike um, to, to have a space on the internet where you can just be yourself. Um, You can jump in on live video if you want to post comment on the things, but we're, we're all here. There's uh, an army of walnuts that are all banded together inside the walnut tree. So I would love to, I would love to hear if, if this sparks any reflection in you. Um, a little bit morbid, but not really. But what legacy are you building or have you built? And are you a person that you would be proud of? Um, and if not, um, how can you change that? And if you are, you're absolutely amazing. And of course you are. <laughs> of course. Of course you are. Um, I have so much more to say, but I'm going to wrap it up here. That you get, you're picking up what I'm putting down. I'm going to finish my cough. And I'm going to get ready for work. And I'm going to let life keep happening to me. <laughs> but I'm proud of myself for every little baby thing that I've done today. And it's only like five. <laughs> right have a happy walnut wednesday walnut thank you so much for being here for your time and if you're new here whoa hello i'm your host laz and i just scuba dive into the deep stuff real quick um you're beautiful you're sexy you're delicious and i will talk to you next week happy happy walnut wednesday 